How are you doing my lovely friends? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. After a month of me disappearing without saying a word, I'm back. Yes, I needed some time. No particular reason. Just fix few things in my personal life, few things in the house, take a break, call it whatever you want. Just wanted a little off everything, social media and everything. But I'm back and today we're going to Italy. We're not going literally in Italy, but we're gonna visit few places. We're gonna start with Rome, then we're gonna move to Parma and we're gonna finish in Sorrentino. Three fantastic cocktails based on Campari, wonderful summer drinks. So if you're ready, pack your suitcases and let's go to Rome first. So first of all, we're gonna land in Rome and we're gonna make a cocktail called Rome with a view. Fantastic, summery, refreshing sip for all of you who likes Campari, who likes dry vermouth. I like a little bit of zestiness and of course, a touch of soda. So we're gonna start with our Campari and we're gonna go with 30 ml, which is one ounce. Then we're gonna go with the dry vermouth. Use your favorite dry vermouth. I'm using Noili Prata as always because it's my favorite extra dry vermouth, but you use whatever you like, 30 ml of the dry vermouth. Then we need some lime, fresh lime. Now freshly squeezed, 30 ml again. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna measure it because I'm gonna do it exactly 30 ml. So we have that in the shaker. And finally, we need a 15 ml of the simple sugar syrup. Right, we're gonna shake the first four ingredients and of course, we're gonna top up with soda. So let's put some ice in the shaker. You don't need too much ice, you just need to quick dilution because you're gonna be served over ice and top up with soda. Let's give it a quick shake. That's it. Less than 10 seconds, just a quick to mix up everything nicely. And it's gonna be served in a high bowl glass or a Collins glass or any tall glass you have, okay? Fill it up with ice, give it a quick strain. Don't need a double strain. You see it at this lovely pink color. And of course, top it up with soda. Wonderful. I'm gonna pop some quick straw inside. Give it a little stir. And of course, I'm gonna garnish this with a lovely slice of orange. You may wonder why you don't garnish with lime, because it's a lime juice. Well, Campari go really well with orange and also dry vermouth. So we're gonna just drop a little big wheel of orange inside. And this is it, Rome with a view. So now we check in and we go to Parma. All right, boys and girls, we land in Parma and we're gonna do the Parma Negroni. Yeah, everybody loves Negroni. I mean, I hope everybody loves Negroni, but this one it's a little bit different because we have a tall drink and we're gonna top up with tonic. Yes, you hear me right. So, first of all, we're gonna start with the London Dry Gin, 30 ml of London Dry Gin. I'm using Beef Eater, use whatever London Dry Gin you have. Negroni is equal parts, so we're gonna go with the equal recipe. Then we go 30 ml of the Campari. And here is the twist. Instead of having a vermouth, we're gonna add 30 ml of a freshly squeezed pink grapefruit. So the vermouth is gone out of this recipe. It's gonna bring a lovely like a zestiness and a little bit more touch of bitterness to the cocktail. Now, to spice up the things, two, three dashes of Angostura bitter, just aromatic bitter, and finally, a 10 ml of a simple sugar syrup. Perfect. A little ice. Give it a quick shake and we're gonna top up with tonic. Mm. 
And if any of you are wondering uh, where I'm getting all these beautiful shakers, I have the Tiki one and the Tattoo collection. Check the link in the description. I'll leave you the company which sell them. It's not an affiliate, but just kind of a nice gesture or just to give you a tip where you can buy these fantastic quality shakers, okay? Now, we need a glass. Usually serve in a high bowl, but I like to serve it in this kind of a tumbler or... I really don't know. It's, it's a nice glass, okay? I'm gonna fill it up with ice. Not to the top, just, uh, just enough. Give it a quick strain. And here we're gonna top up with a proper Indian tonic water. As we have a pink grapefruit inside, I'm gonna drop one really big slice of a pink grapefruit and this is gonna just look amazing. Let me see if I have a short straw. I do have. So I'm gonna just pop the straw here. And this is it, Parma Negroni. So now we pack in and do a last fly, we're going to Sorrentino. All right, last landing for today. We're in Sorrentino and this is a very old cocktail from the area. It's very popular and it's absolutely fantastic. The reason why is because it's kind of a taking from the Negroni, but it's very refreshing, uh, zesty, perfect summer drink. And you see why. So let's start making. Here, we don't need shaker. It's everything built in the glass directly over ice. Okay. Fill it up with ice and we're gonna start with the Campari. In this case, the Campari is only 22 and a half mil. However, if you like to be a little bit more bitter, go with the 30 mil, okay? So I'm gonna go with 22 and a half. The next ingredient is the wonderful limoncello. Yes, if you like Italian spirits, if you like Italian cocktails, you can be having a fridge without the limoncello, okay? So 30 ml of the limoncello or one ounce. And finally, vermouth rosso. So I'm gonna use my brand new bottle of Cocciello vermouth rosso. So 30 ml. Oh, fantastic. Give it a little steer, like very little gentle steer. We don't need this anymore. Just a quick gentle steer. Beautiful. One of the best quick drinks to enjoy this summer. And finally, a little splash on the top soda water just to give a little fizziness to the cocktail. That's it. Another quick gentle steer. Perfect. Garnish with orange, so a big wheel of orange, of course. You want this orange flavor inside. And this one doesn't require straw. It's just like that. So there we go. This is the Sorrentino cocktail, guys. So we have the Sorrentino, we have the Parma Negroni, and we have Rome with a view. All of them absolutely fantastic. So let's start Rome with a view. Mm. Bitter, zesty, dry. Exactly what it says on the tin. Parma Negroni. Refreshing, bitter, fruitiness from the grapefruit, tropical vibe. Oh, oh, oh. and my favorite course, Sorrentino. Oh yeah, very well balanced. It's like a, you get this vibe like from the Negroni, but the Limoncello is bringing this lovely, sweet, zesty flavor to it. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and more important, show me some love when you smash this like button. But for now, as always, I love you and I leave you and I'm gonna go drink these cocktails now. So, I'm off. Bye-bye.